Hi, Dan from Gundog Success and DT Systems here to talk about using the e-collar to reinforce the kennel command. You've already found your dog's working level and you've already done leash training, including teaching your dog with leash pressure how to get into a kennel. Good. Good. All right. Good. Katie, come on. Now it's time to teach the dog how to avoid e-collar pressure by getting into the kennel. So the first time you do it, you're literally going to have the dog sitting, or if it's a pointing dog woeing in front of the kennel, you're going to grab the leash right up close to where the, the meets the dog's neck, have the e-collar set to your working level, and you're going to nick and move your hand with the leash into the kennel at the same time. So we're going to say the word kennel nick and pull the dog in at the same time. Ready? Kennel. All right. Good dog. Good. Give the dog a treat. Some positive reinforcement when it gets into the kennel. Katie. Good girl. Sit. All right. So we'll do one with automatic pressure and then the next one we'll do a freebie. Kennel. Good. Now if I tell her to kennel on the freebie, and she decides not to go, then I'll, Katie, automatically tug her. So if I told her to get in on the freebie, she, do, she didn't comply, I would literally just make an automatic correction like this. Kennel, Nick. Good. Good. All right. Katie. And remember, anytime you use any sort of correction or pressure, always do a freebie as the next step so you can give your dog a chance to do it right without any manipulation. For more information, check out DTSystems.com.